Welcome to another episode of Spotlight, the podcast here from Wolverhampton Grand Theatre that lifts the curtain and takes a look behind the scenes on everything that we've got going on. I'm Scott and I'm delighted to be joined today by the panto power couple that is Ian Adams and Tam Ryan. Welcome. Thank you, Hi, Scott. Scott. <laughs> panto power couple. There you go, you see. We've never been labelled as that before, I like it. <laughs> but indeed you are, because this year's Panto Snow White has received such fabulous five-star reviews. We are mm. thrilled with, with those, as yeah. I'm sure you are too. It's uh, Because we don't do it for that reason, but when you do get such praise, it, it must mean something. Yeah, I think we're, we're, we're justly proud of it, aren't we, I yeah, think? very much. You know, a lot of work's gone in, and it's a fairly stable, boring, immediate response. But, you know, work started on it remotely uh back in january, january wasn't it january. We, we literally yeah. came off stage in aladdin and went right yeah yeah and well, i guess it has it. to because this is the first year that we've wholly taken the production in-house everything that you come and see here has been created by the grand theater and, and a big part of that is the two of you because as you say the script for this you have written entirely as well so take me well back then so the end of aladdin how did it all start where did it start what did you do and wh wh where did it begin you want to, go on, you tell me. So it started. The, I think the brief was we had to have a synopsis by the last week in January. So we sort of yeah, that was we, a big gulp. Moment, yeah, wasn't it, it was one of those right. Where do we go with this? And and that was mainly for the sets and everything. So we knew what scenes there were going to be. So David Shields could start work on that and just the order of it. And I think we I think Act One was nineteen scenes at one point, wasn't it? <laughs> at one and then point, it, yeah. Then it sort of cut down a bit. Yeah. So the synopsis went in and. Everybody was happy with that. And then I think the first draft was something like the end of March, wasn't it? Yeah. Which was a bit of a scramble, but we got there. Yeah, and we, then, yeah. you know, because it's not just writing the, the book, it's finding the songs, the rewrite on the lyrics like we've just been talking about. Um, so it's, there's a lot happens at the beginning, but then once everybody gives the thumbs up to the first draft, you can relax into it and then just start working on the book, can't you? Yeah, I think it's the refinement process because obviously we, we're both sort of, obviously we're both creative people. And so there's a lot of energy at the start, isn't there? And yeah. you're going, what about this? What about that? But how's that going to work? And how's that going to, you know, domino everything else? So I think the biggest test really was filtering it all down and in, into something that we definitely wanted to do. And we, it's almost like, you know, it sounds a bit daft, but, you know, in those stages of a talent show where you're going, well, that's definitely got to go in. That's in the maybe list, and that is probably was ill thought out. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so it, is, it was a process, a bit like not quite as clinical as that, but yeah, it was. And, you know, and the hardest bit was what to do with the what has now become the pe Peaky Miners, wasn't it? Oh yeah, finding the idea for that um, that wasn't stereotypical, and obviously Disney have got hands down on on. The Seven Dwarves. Which was Ian's idea, by the way. I came up with a political theme originally and then uh, oh. very quickly realised that we weren't writing Spitting Image uh, in Wolverhampton. <laughs> but I have to say, it is very funny and I've still got a copy of it. But, but potentially career-ending. So, you know, <laughs> we, have to, we have it to caveat be. that. That's and locked again, in the vault for now. <laughs> David Shields designed these incredible puppets, didn't he? The political yeah. puppets, which yeah. were amazing, but it, it all had to be shelved. And then it was like, what are we going to do? And we... Did a bit of to and fro in, and then I was on the M6, I think, and I talking to you, wasn't I? Yeah. And I said, we've got to come up with a name or a concept because, like, we're getting closer and closer. This is, I don't know, July or something, wasn't it? Which has inspired one of the uh, lines in the show. The lay, lay by on says, the M6. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember those days in the lay by? I'm sorry, I'm taking your accent off terribly. You know, uh, you're doing Danny LaRue. <laughs> I, I knew it all for Danny. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's a little nod to some of the creative. Decisions. It, it, yeah, there's a few few little bits like that. Yeah, yeah. so uh, we were talking, I said, we've got to come up with the name. And then I, I literally pulled into um, the service station and I thought, hang on a minute, we're missing it here. They're miners and we're in the Midlands. You know, peaky, peaky miners. I phoned you back, didn't I? Yeah. And it was just light, light bulb. Do you know, it's you know a stroke of well? genius. We'd be on Zoom uh, or, or, or on a video call and, um, you know, you'd be sort of to, to and fro in with ideas and then. The call would end. You think, oh, have we got there? And then literally, it happened about three times. And it five yeah. minutes after we ended the call, the idea came to oh, us. It's all Mary. Your, your mirror. Yeah, like, like yeah. you know, mm. turning the mirror into uh, an AI 
thing just sort of oh, we're puzzling and we're going this that yeah. and the other because it was going to be a celebrity at one point yeah. yeah and then it became an animation of some sort didn't it yeah and then it was just like time came up but well why don't we do an ai thing and bump done great yeah. inspired so, but, but those moments are great because sometimes you know the, the phone or the text will go off at oh, two in the morning <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be what about this what about i know we were both as guilty for it yeah. uh -huh. but i think that's because we're, we're both care okay. We care and we're invested in it, yeah. and we feel. I know. Well, I. Well, I know we both do. We feel very lucky, really, to have been given the opportunity. So, mm. you want to seize mm. it. You want to make the most of it. But yeah. great! It's been a really good process, and um, as we've said a couple of times, we've never fallen out. Of, not that we would anyway. But there's never been any dodgy moments, has there? Like, there was one time I could say this, where there was a there's a song in it one that I was quite invested in, and I thought it was perfect for it, and Tam was never sure. And we toured him for a bit, and then I phoned him. I think that was a late phone call, actually. And I, yeah. No, it wasn't. I said to you, I'm going to sleep on it. And I phoned him the next morning, and I said, right, you're going to hear this once. I'm wrong. I recorded that. <laughs> and that was it. And that was it. And uh, that became, what did it become? That became... Oh, the... Miracles. Miracles. Yeah. 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 And because the mining song that the Peakies do, yeah. which, of course, is the Wolverhampton anthem that always had to be there. yes that was further in the show and then we moved it towards the end of act one and we because like we thought they would react like they reacted yes and so that had to go near the end but then we needed a button and what better than nikki doing diamonds yes yeah. that is just uh -huh. a showstopper yeah it is a local legend, uh, Nikki Evans herself. And, yeah. and, and actually, the two of you, and neither of you were uh, born here or from Wolverhampton, but honorary Wolfroonians yeah, now. Proud, proud and, be. and, and between yeah, the yeah. two of you yeah. have made this panto so Wolverhampton, haven't you? Like, you know, there is so much in here for local people. You say the Peaky Miners, you know, the Black Country Museum is just down the road. Yeah. Then, you know, even a nod to your character, Noel Gordon, Nolly, is a local, you know, Birmingham. She lived in Birmingham all of her life yeah. and you know she's the queen of the midlands they yeah. Her, didn't they? yeah there are so many and nods. that all stemmed from um the uh, mini series that was early on this year literally i watched that and i phoned david shields i said i want it to be noel gordon <laughs> yeah and he, and he got it straight away i so. think one of our remits though right from the very start and this is where adrian comes in yeah you know, he said yeah. look one thing that the real the real thing we want to hang this on is wolverhampton yeah and I think it's hugely important when, you know, when you're taking this step to, to making your own production, why wouldn't you make it for your own and serve your own community? So I think we were all very focused and invested in that. Yeah, absolutely. And that, you know, every sort of creative decision I think that we made script wise was rooted or certainly in the back of our heads was, right, how is this going to play in context of making it a community pantomime? Mm -hmm. And hopefully that comes over. I think we've, we've got a lot of stuff in there that, yeah. that hopefully will, will yeah. make people feel that it's theirs. You know, that's yes. a hugely important thing. Yeah, and I think people are very proud to have this in their beloved theatre you know it, it, it is a show it is a grand show for a grand theatre i mean look at the set that yeah. we're sat on let's just let's talk about david shields very briefly uh, I mean, a genius designer uh, yeah. who has not only come up with the set but the puppets and, oh, and everything mate, he's, he's, he's blown us away isn't he from yeah. start to finish and with the speed of his design as well <laughs> i mean literally you sort of throw an idea out and yeah. within a couple of hours yeah it, an email, david i've had this thought and, and it's literally yeah. like that, isn't it? Yeah. You look in your inbox and it, and suddenly it's all sketched out for you. Like, well, yeah. How, how have you done that? Yeah. Well, his answer is, well, I like drawing. <laughs> yes, his answer is like that. <laughs> That's he's, what he does. very humble he, fellow. He's he? so un understated, really, David, isn't he? Because yes. that is a massive talent. Yes. Um, and, and the other thing about um, the set is what we wrote in the script is what you're seeing on stage. How we described what we thought. Mm. Uh -huh. David translated literally verbatim didn't he yeah it's a huge compliment that because um you know we've done a load of pantos between us but very rare has a script been honored to this kind of yeah i agree and, and yeah. it's not because we put pressure on people because we I no. mean, it's not it's, but it just you know i think that's a huge compliment, I think, to the writers. And I think we've all appreciated, well, oh, we yeah. both appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, we do, uh -huh. absolutely. And, and the set, of course, um, really um, 
helps the band to shine too wow. because normally they're hidden away in a pit yeah. uh, down, just down to, just down at the bottom of the stalls there but this year yeah. the band are so incorporated into the production they don't they don't uh, obstruct anything and they're not always visible but when they are you know they're there and yeah. they're such a an integral part of the show what is it like to have adrian and and, and the the incredible band behind you up there Oh, it's fantastic, isn't yeah, it? It moves I, it to the next level, yeah, really. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just another layer of magic and surprise, and and but the, the whole, you, you know, the whole sound that's mm. engineered is just the first time it's we a heard joy, it, isn't it? We did a Zitz probe on the second Tuesday, I think it was, and we all got on doing our numbers with the bat, and it was one of those where every now and again you had to take a breath because it was just like the sound was incredible, wasn't it? You know, and to have that, to have all that brass and everything live is just yeah incredible. And as you say, you've got to handle it sensitively because I, I think that's a wise thing that you've said because it, it it's got to be right for the narrative, it's got to be right for the story, mm. and it's still got to be a feature. So there's a delicate balance in handling that. And you know, it's been directed that way very, very well, and it's been hopefully written with a nod to that. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just another element of, of a big show. You know, you, you look, I think you just look for things that will take it up a notch from last year. So what we're going to do next year, well, we good keep, luck. We keep saying this, don't we? But yeah. I yeah. really wish that the two of you could actually sit out there and watch it. because And we, said and we can't. We you can't. It's so annoying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I feel guilty for sitting and watching it and enjoying it so many times. Because, you know, if anybody deserves to sit and watch the, the beauty that this is, it's, it's the two of you. It feels like... You know, I think what's got the perfect blend of old Broadway glitz and glamour that that is missed. You know, that everyone wants to get. You know, yeah. you, you you imagine going to the theatre to the pantomime. That's what you imagine, isn't yeah. it? But then it's coupled with, as you say, the AI mirror and modern pop songs as well as old Broadway glitz and glamour songs. It is the perfect mix, and I yeah, guess right. that is when pantomime is its best when there's something for everyone and it appeals to everyone. Well, I think yeah, so. It's got so, to yeah. have a broad spectrum of appeal, isn't it? You look at the de the demographic that you're audience you know you've got it's multi-generational mm. and that's how it's the experience should be that and there should be something you know for every funny moment there's got to be a pathos moment for every pop song has got to be like you say a broadway drug song or something show yeah. yeah so and i think probably that's where ian and i know be careful and sensitive how i phrase this go on then but how we complement each other sometimes i mean obviously we've got great deal of respect for each other and you know it's been mate so it's great working and writing with him but we can come at slightly different angles and yet still find, still make it come together sometimes. What are you looking at me like that for? I'm bemused. <laughs> no, but... You mean old and young, don't you? No, I'm just... I, hang on. <laughs> far be it from Well, me. I am playing your mother. I yes, suppose. I do There is that. that. Yeah, that. But, so, so I'd say no, traditional yeah. and um, uh, new age. Yeah, well, I mean... And we meet in the middle sometimes. <laughs> we do, we do. We come from different places, but... I think we both think the same, don't we? In yeah. the end, yeah. that's it. I mean, Ultimately, the goal are, is there shared. Are things when but I'm that's why it's, it started off as a compliment. It's drifted somewhere else. <laughs> no, it is a compliment. I get, I get it. It's but, you know, it's, it's almost know. like a good combination, a bit of a dream yeah, team yeah. scenario. That yeah, and that, I mean, there were things I wrote in terms of, you, you can't say that. And I went, all right, okay. And likewise. You, you know, could have five years ago, maybe, but you can't. Mm. Uh, and that's fine. And that's a good thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And I've written a joke and thought, this, this is funny. I thought, yeah, this is funny in a stand-up environment. Mm but probably not, not in a panto, So, yeah. you know, we have that joy as well where you can rein each other in. And because we've got respect for each other's work, we, we can openly say that without falling out. Yeah, well, yeah. not going to fall well, out. Occasionally, we? yeah. well, might do that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a good job that that is how it is because in a matter of weeks, I don't know, you might have already started, but the two of you are reunited for next year's panto, Beauty yeah. and the Beast. Exciting. Um, what can, what can you that? tease about mm. that? What can we well, expect? The interesting thing is, neither of us have seen it as a pantomime. Right. So we're coming at, at it with fresh eyes, aren't we? Because um, I'm going to try and get to see a, a couple, but uh, but never having done it either, it's a blank canvas really, isn't it? Yeah, which is exciting and terrifying in equal measures yeah. for me because, you know, it gives you... I think, like we said with this one, the idea is to is to get all the ingredients, but also... We're custodians of the art form. I truly believe that. And we've got to, you can't just stay, you can't stand still. Mm. You've got to sort of push the boundaries a bit, but take everyone with you. It's got to remain in the formula that people will recognize. So, you know, having not actually performed in Beauty and the Beast mm -hmm. on a stage, 
that's that as I say that's quite exciting for mm. me uh, because we can we can really look at it and really put present something fresh yeah you know yeah um, so you yeah, wouldn't with, with, with not as much influence yeah yeah so go, go back to the original I bought the book so I'm gonna, I'm gonna read, I'll read that when you we see finish. He's ahead of the game. <laughs> yeah. My head's still in this one. We've well, not so reached it, Christmas. So is yet. mine, but I'm the, just the back somewhere is going. Oh, I wonder if the beast could say that. You know, but <laughs> yeah. But look, I mean, you look at it. We finish on the what seventh of January and something. Two weeks later, we're gonna put oh, the synopsis. Oh yeah, in. yeah. It, so, yeah, life is mm. panto. Panto we do, is life. Yeah. We do need to think yeah. about it. But uh, it's so much fun, though. I think uh, you know we feel we feel very privileged to mm. be given yeah. and gifted. This opportunity it's the best career move that i've ever made was three years ago when i got lucky enough uh, to be asked to come here as the comic and i've you know ever since then without being too sycophantic everyone's been so good and so supportive and it's so well run and it's it's hugely important that to get the best out of your your employees and you yeah. know it makes me not that i'd not do the best that i could because I, I would have professional pride, but you really, it, I really want to give extra here because of the treatment that I've received. Yeah. And I know Ian feels the same. Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 Totally and our audiences recognise that. And I think we're so lucky. There are so many theatres up and down the country that have their resident dame, have their resident comic, or whoever that might be, resident villain, I guess, in some mm -hmm. uh, theatres. Uh, and it's really, really nice that we've got that now here in Wolverhampton. And, and we're so glad it's the two of you. Well, and we can't wait. For Beauty and the Beast, we're very, very excited. We're well, going to uh, make it spectacular. We're going to make it a spectacular show, aren't we? We are. We are. Well, we we've, we've got to make it like this, but yeah. then different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. That wasn't very eloquent. That but might not be go on the post. <laughs> so, so for those, like yeah, this, those of you bit, listening, like this but a bit different. Yeah. It's going to be like this but a bit different. Yeah. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> there you go. There's a tagline. Do yeah. my job for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you both for for joining me. I could chat to you for hours more, but we've run out of time. But um, yeah, it's it's great to have you both here. Uh, and uh, yeah, back again next year. So thank we'll you, see you then. Thank you. And for those of you listening, thank you for listening. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you back at the next episode. Yeah.